Hi guys, it is a brisk 90 degree May day here in lovely New York, baby. Here on the final day of May, that would be Tuesday, May 31st, <clears throat> 2022. So uh, we're on the way to Sister Sandy's and to pick up some wood here. And uh, <coughs> so anyway, I just want to let you guys in on uh, <laughs> the latest crazy ham bone story that I've been dealing with at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, <coughs> I don't know where this is going. The story has no end yet. Uh, in the middle of the story, if anybody has any advice, but uh, this is my story and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, you know, I got back when did I get back? Uh, 18 days ago, uh, I got back to Bugs in a Jar Farm and uh, looking forward to sleeping in the tiny house, you know, back behind the house. And when I got there, the very first night, I mean, I was absolutely exhausted and I go to bed in the damn tiny house and then in the middle of the night this fucking yowling tomcat wakes me up outside the tiny house just walking around the tiny house hanging out on the deck <coughs> I mean just caterwauling yowling uh, like he's looking for a cat in heat while well, it so happens you know that I uh, realized, realized, realized that Rob and Donna have this cat. They have this seven-year-old spayed female cat uh, that was there all last summer, six months, <clears throat> never had a tomcat out yowling uh, outside the house. So anyway, uh, that the cat is spayed. She's seven years old. She is spayed. Uh, I guess she's never had a kitten, never been in heat, whatever. But uh, this tomcat uh, was certainly acting like there was a cat in heat in, in that house. And uh, what is that cat's name? I think that cat's name is Rascal. And she has been acting like a cat in heat. Uh, that she has just been con just. Uh, yowling and caterwauling and completely crazy. I mean, every time you open the door, charges the door. She's an inside cat. Uh, I guess Rob and Donna don't want her to get eaten, and I don't want her to eat all of the songbirds and uh, everything out in the yard. So anyway, so Rascal is an inside cat. This was not a problem for six months last summer. But uh, she has made it her duty to get out there and join up with this tomcat. And uh, he is this, he's not a bad looking cat. He's pretty cool. He's jet black and has these eyes that look like owl's eyes. He's got this very cool face with these giant green eyes. And uh, I said, a good looking cat little bit unsure whether he is completely feral or whether he's coming over from a neighbor. It's a long ass walk from the nearest neighbor's house. If this cat is coming down from the nearest neighbor. Uh, so anyway, a little bit of mystery where this black cat is coming from. So the very first night <clears throat> I am there, this goddamn cat keeping me up all night with this goddamn caterwauling and yowling and uh, and and shit like this. I mean, like, I got no fucking sleep my first night dealing with this goddamn cat. So this was 18 nights ago. And then what happened is right at sunrise, actually before sunrise, I mean at the first crack of dawn, this this uh, thing, this creature, uh, comes out of the damn woods 
uh, it's, uh, you know, while, while a regular cat, like, wow, 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 I, I, I'm hearing this shit all fucking night long, this goddamn thing shows up, and, uh, th this son of a bitch, she's got a voice like, wah, 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 wah. And uh, th this goddamn cat is a monster. Uh, I honestly don't know if uh, if domestic cats can breed with bobcats or not. I mean, this fucking thing is is, is huge, a uh, hell of a lot bigger than Sancho. So he's got this body, which looks to me about as big as a bobcat. Uh, he's got a a full tail and then he's got this little bitty head sticking off of his neck I mean his his head doesn't fit his body it looks kind of like a bobcat's head uh, this little bitty head sticking off this skinny neck and his ass sticks up in the air it's like uh, all four of his legs is like a cat on stilts but his back legs are are taller than his front legs. So when he's when he's walking straight, it's like his ass is sticking up in the air, uh, and his shoulders are down. I mean, he he is a funny looking thing. And so the very first night I was there, this goddamn cat shows up and kicks the black cat's ass. And uh, well, so at least he ran the damn black cat off, and uh, then he ran. Then I ran him off. So I thought maybe that was it, but no, that was not it. That was the this beginning uh, of this goddamn adventure. Night after night, this fucking black cat. He's down there, and I'm not even one hundred percent sure it's a tomcat. I, I just, uh, I've just always assumed it, it, it was a tomcat, cause it sure as hell acting like a tomcat, and this spayed seven-year-old female cat is, is, is acting like, I, I, I mean, she is obviously in love with this, with, with this tomcat. Uh, they are, they have dedicated each other's lives to uh, you know, to getting together, uh, and I just assumed it was hormones. But this shit has been going on now for at least 18 days. I don't know how long it had been uh, going on before uh, I even got here, because Rob and Donna, you know, sleep like uh, you know, they sleep like uh, dead people. And apparently, a, a cannon could go off uh, outside their window, and they would not be woken up. So they've never heard this this goddamn black cat keeping me up uh, all fucking night. And and it's like it doesn't matter where I sleep. If I'm in the tiny house, he's out on the deck yowling right outside the door. If I go sleep in the goddamn camper, he follows me out there and yowls last night when I was on the phone in the damn living room of the Hambone Hilton. He was right behind me there uh, yowling. He apparently has been uh, jumping up on the flower in the window box. The flower boxes, <clears throat> he's trying to uh, He's trying to scratch through the window, to, uh, through the screen to get in the house. And Rascal, she is uh, trying to scratch through the screen to get out of the damn house. And uh, so anyway, I've just figured out finally that if, if I run the fan on high, whether I'm sleeping in the tiny house or the uh, trailer, I just put a fan on high two feet from my damn head and it pretty much drowns it out and Rob and Donna sleep with a fan running in their room so maybe that's what's drowning it out but my concern over all of this is that I don't want uh, 
you know, people renting the tiny house to be kept up awake, you know, all night uh, by this damn cat. Now, the first two people in the tiny house that have stayed there, they have uh, had no problem with the Tomcat. So it's like I am the only person being kept awake by this damn thing, but I really can't have paying guests uh, and, you know, getting woken up by this damn cat. So uh, we got one of these uh, from a neighbor. I borrowed one of these live catch have a heart traps and we were baiting it with cat food. So three nights in a row, we set the goddamn trap uh, for the black cat and we put a can of cat food in there every morning the damn uh, trap was tripped and the can of food was still in there so now I've ordered a thing of catnip from Amazon and uh, so we're gonna see so my plan is and I and I kind of hate to do this is to uh, trap this damn uh, tomcat uh, in this live cat's trap and haul him off, uh, you know, like 20 or 30 miles away from Bugs in a Jar Farm so I can fucking sleep. So what happened, a, when was it, three, three nights ago, I believe, finally, Rascal, you know, the, the little female cat who is absolutely as much beside herself to get out to the cat, to the, to the black cat, as the black cat is beside himself to get in. So what she did about three nights ago, she clawed the screen out of the kitchen window. She was so desperate to get to her boyfriend. You know, I call him Romeo and Juliet. So she clawed the uh, screen out of the kitchen to get to him and so when I woke up uh, about uh, you know about eight o'clock in the morning and I look out the back window of, uh, uh, of the tiny house and Romeo and Juliet they're just lying there together they're just hanging out on the back deck completely mellow neither one of them is freaking out they're lying there together absolutely content these two cats are clearly in love uh, this and I've decided it's not uh, it has nothing to do with a cat in heat and a tomcat and all of this shit. Uh, they, these two cats, for whatever reason, have found each other and they are not going to rest until they're together. And uh, so it's uh, either let the black cat inside the house and he's not going to come inside the house or, or let fucking rascal outside. I'm about ready to throw in the fucking towel and uh, just say, baby Robbins, uh, you're on your own. And uh, but anyway, I've been overruled. And uh, so for whatever reason, uh, Rob and Donna are absolutely not going to let their inside cat become an outside cat so that option is off the table so uh th this is uh completely driving me fucking crazy and so that was going on that's been going on for 18 nights and then uh i guess it was the night before last guess who reappears for the first time in 16 nights is this big badass whatever this creature is this third cat uh, I'm losing track of how many cats well the second Tom cat uh, so I honestly don't know if that cat that big ass half bobcat or whatever this ugly ass thing is I don't know whether he's being attracted there by rascal yelling I think that he is there uh, that he has my guess is he has a territory and we're probably like on the corner of it or something 
and he is there uh, just defending his turf and kicking the black cat out. So he shows up again uh, a couple of nights ago, and, and uh, he and the black cat get in a big ass fight, and uh, he kicks the black cat's ass, and, uh, and I'm, again, I'm thinking, fine. But of course, the black cat was back. Uh, two hours later, uh, he was back again, yelling his ass off. And uh, then last night, uh, what, what, what kept happening, you know, so I have the fan off where I can't hear all of this, this yelling. And what kept happening last night is when you, when you come up on the deck of the tiny house, this fucking security light, you know, this motion detector security light comes on and, and floods the whole deck in the backyard in the tiny house with light. So what kept happening last night, I have the fucking fan off where I can't hear the yelling and another cat has now shown up on the scene. Uh, this big, good-looking, looks like a tomcat to me, this big tiger cat. I mean, uh, he, he's bigger than the black cat, but he's not nearly as big as this other brute. And so now I've got this fucking cat. Uh, he's not a yowler. Uh, what he does is he comes up and down uh, turning on the damn light, and, and I can't quite understand this, because the black cat is, spends a lot of time on the front porch of the tiny house. So when the black cat comes up on the porch, he does not trigger the motion detector light. The motion detector light does not detect the black cat, but when the tiger cat comes up on the porch, the motion detector light goes off and wakes me up. So now uh, I have to remember to turn off the motion detector light and turn on the fan before I sleep there. But, but uh, anyway, th this shit has got to end. Uh, and I, I, I've got to get, uh, minimally, I got to get this black cat out of there. Either, uh, e either Romeo and Juliet are allowed to be together, and uh, which I honestly believe <clears throat> that these two cats uh, would would get over uh their their damn uh caterwauling freak out i mean you should have seen them together uh, they were absolutely calm at peace uh they weren't yowling uh, stalking around trying to rip screens out uh they had found each other but uh anyway the uh the, uh, who was it? The Capulets and the, I can't remember the other family. Uh, obviously, uh, it, it ain't gonna happen that, uh, Juliet is not going to be allowed to get together with Romeo. So, uh, Romeo is just, uh, I hate to do it, but, uh, as soon as I catch him in this trap, he's gonna go get his ass dumped. 30 miles away and he can just find a new damn girlfriend because I got to get some fucking sleep and uh, I can't afford a bad review and Airbnb because I'm trying to get my fucking super host status back and, and, and I can't have this yowling cat uh, you know getting me in trouble with fucking Airbnb so uh, I will keep you posted, but if anybody has any advice on how to catch this goddamn uh, cat, I'm, I'm going with uh, the have a heart trap baited with catnip. And uh, I'm trying to figure out a way. I was talking with Rob. Can we figure out a way to use rascal as the bait for the trap. Uh, 
So maybe, uh, maybe we can figure out how to use Rascal, how to use Juliet. But uh, it, you know, the shit never ends, guys. But such is uh, my my tale of woe. This is what I am dealing with uh, here on the planet at uh, Cats in Your Ear Farm. Look at these goddamn dead ash trees. Look at that shit. And uh, so uh, I'm already getting the uh, first baby gypsy worm caterpillars are already uh, starting to fall out of the trees. Here we fucking go again. I just went through this shit and uh, raining caterpillars in Florida and now it's gonna be raining caterpillars and caterpillar shit in New York baby as the gypsy worms attack again uh, they come in three year cycles this is year number two so here come the gypsy worms if the caterwallin don't get you the gypsy worms will Anyway, I'm going to get back to my 90 degree day in the end times. Bye guys.